Hi, welcome back for another video. And this is about Bitcoin. Yeah. Now, Alex Jones have said that George Soros, George Soros have offered him $5 million to pump Bitcoin. Outspoken conspiracy theorist and dietary supplement peddler Alex Jones recently appeared on the Joe Rogan Experience for podcast where he called cryptocurrencies the future. So in typical anti-establishment fashion, Jones sold mistrust about the government-controlled fiat-based economy saying, we have a private federal reserve that's all fiat. I'm not judging anybody, I'm just saying be careful. For example, he also told Rogan that 8 years ago, George Soros had offered him $5 million to pump Bitcoin. This, he claimed, was worth $38 million at the peak of 2017's bull run, but he refused it. This may just be a miscalculation of value timing or timing. The approximately 2,000 Bitcoin which were worth $38 million at peak was actually worth $5 million just 21 months ago. Now, this news I want to point out is because of right his allegement that eight years ago yeah george soros had offered him five million dollars to pump bitcoin so this is really really interesting if this is true right let's just assume for one second if this is true then you know um basically then the reason why george soros want to do that is because he want to make sure Right, that people gets into this, yeah, and then if he can ask Alex Jones to pump it up, he will then also ask it to pump it down, right? Dump it down. Then when the market is crashing, I think that's when then George Soros will come in and um you know buy into very cheap price, yeah. And yeah, so that's the other thing I, I see it right. Because no one knows whether it's true or not. But in any case, if it's true, yes, this is really, really interesting, yeah. Um, yeah, because George Soros is, you know, he is all about how can he gain, how can he make a return from any investment, right? So, yeah, yeah. Then the other thing is, um, I'm hoping, right, when the Bact and Aris X come along, when they have the futures market, though that one is, of course, is physically backed by you know real crypto i hope right it doesn't encourage people investors like george soros to do any you know um unfair trading right all this pump and dump scheme i really hope that and in fact earlier on we talked about circle investing or partnering with all these firms to ensure that you know they will need to track their trading very very carefully so to make sure there's no pump and dump schemes right so every transaction is very fair and all that um yes i hope that it doesn't happen because you know they could so what happened is that they could dump in the spot market and then they could buy short futures and then they will really really make the money out of it yeah so i really really hope you know this doesn't happen or there will be enough how do i say enough regulations or tracking in place to make sure that these are not done like that yeah so that's why trading has is downside as well so there is some upside of course in such case to people just hold on yeah mm. Next, Blockstream releases Lightning Upgrade with new plug-in functionality. So, Blockstream is making the largest upgrade to its C Lightning software in 8 months, releasing a new version that features a batch of upgrades. Notable among them is a feature called Plugins that the company hopes will make it easier for coders to build features into the payment system, even for those who don't consider themselves coders. Already, developers are already proving eager to build Lightning Network apps. As examples, a seven-year-old built a zombie hunting game that takes Bitcoin lightning payments. And as of last week, it's even possible to order pizza courtesy of a crafty custom website. So this is very, very good news for Bitcoin and Lightning Network because Lightning Network now is trying to make it even more user-friendly. So this plugin is to make sure that anyone that want to you know, link their own apps into Lightning Network can be in a very seamless version. That's what it this enables yeah and of course um the recent movement the lightning torch movement which passed around the lightning you know a wallet that 
everyone just add a bit of money into this Lightning Wallet and then keep passing around really has garnered a lot of publicity for Lightning Network and Bitcoin. So that's really, really good because then you do see a lot of people supporting Bitcoin just for the sake of it. And now that you have plugins, right, that is again very, very good news. So, yes, um, of course, note that Lightning Network is still in the, you know, testing stage, but it is important for them to continue to build, right, continue to fix the bugs. Because, for example, the Lightning Torch has uncovered a few, fi- um, you know, bugs that need to be fixed and they are working on it. So, I think definitely very good. Any experiment is good. And that's why Binance is also you know, offering 100k reward just for people to test out their decks, right? Yeah. So that's all in this video and uh, hope you enjoy. Leave a like, leave a subscribe and there were other videos released today related to uh, exchanges as well um, and the regulators. So hope you can watch those as well. Thank you.